Hello and welcome everyone to the In Focus series of Drishti IS English. I am Pragya with you today. Before we begin our discussion today, let me ask you a very pertinent question. Have you ever wondered whether the sitting president of India or a governor of a state can be arrested, can be imprisoned? The answer is no and this is by virtue of article 361 of the Indian constitution. The title of our today's discussion is what exactly is article 361 of the Indian constitution which talks about the constitutional immunities. And these constitutional um, immunities are there with the vested with the president of India or a governor of the state. So, in this discussion we are firstly going to study about the complaint, the recent complaint that has been initiated against the West Bengal governor. Then we are also going to examine the constitutional provision of governor. Then we are also going to study about article 361 in detail. Then we are also going to analyze the stand of the Supreme Court in relation to these constitutional immunities. And lastly, we will discuss a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic or the news. So, basically a complaint alleging sexual harassment. has been filed against the current governor of the state of West Bengal. However, the police cannot name his, him as an accused. The police cannot initiate an investigation against him by virtue of article 361 of the Indian constitution which talks about certain constitutional immunities and these constitutional immunities are available both in civil and criminal cases. And this topic is very important from the perspective of your GS2 paper that is polity and governance. So, this brings us to the moot point of our today's discussion that what exactly is this complaint. We will also examine the constitutional provision of governor. We will also study about article 361 in detail. So, let us firstly discuss what exactly is the complaint against the sitting uh, governor of the state of West Bengal. A women employee of Raj Bhavan since 2019 who lives in the residential quarters at the governor's house has accused the West Bengal governor of molestation, basically sexual harassment. The complaint was lodged with the police of the governor's house. And afterwards, the Kolkata police has registered a case against the governor. However, as I said, due to the virtue of Article 361, they cannot name his, him as an accused, neither can they initiate any kind of investigation against him. Now, let us examine the constitutional provisions regarding the post of governor. So, the first provision is Article 153 of the Indian Constitution which mandates a governor for each state. Then there is article 154 of the Indian constitution which talks about the executive power of the state. And this executive power of the state is vested in the governor. However, he cannot exercise this executive power without the aid and advice of the council of ministers. And this has been mandated by article 163 of the Indian constitution. Then comes article 155 which talks about the appointment of governor.
by whom he is appointed by the president of india then article 156 of the indian constitution talks about the term of office of governor so he enjoys his office as long as there is pleasure of president because he is appointed by the president then article 157 of the indian constitution talks about the qualifications for becoming a governor then there is article 158 of the indian constitution which talks about the conditions of governor's office and lastly there is the most important articles of these all article 213 which talks about the ordinance making power of the governor so this in brief was the constitutional provisions relating to the position of the governor moving forward let us discuss article 361 of the indian constitution which provides certain constitutional immunities to the president of india or a governor of the state so article 361 of the constitution as i said deals with the immunity to the president and the governors it basically states that they shall not be answerable to any court for the exercise and performance of the powers and duties of his office or for any act done or purporting to be done by him in the exercise and performance of those powers and duties that means they are completely uh, immune from any kind of civil or criminal proceedings against them while they are discharging their official duties and this article 361 of the indian constitution has two important sub clauses so what are these sub clauses firstly that no criminal proceeding whatsoever shall be initiated or continued against the president or the governor of a state in any court during the term of his office so the term here is during the term of his office that means he can be punished and prosecuted after his term has ended and this ensures that no one is above law secondly no process for the arrest or imprisonment of the president or the governor of a state shall issue from any court during his term of the office that means he cannot be produced before any kind of court he cannot be arrested he cannot be imprisonment during the term of his office however if you talk about civil proceedings they can be initiated by giving a prior two months notice against a sitting president or governor so this is in whole is the crux of the constitutional immunities that has been granted to the president and governor of a state by virtue of article 361 firstly you cannot uh, mention him as an accused or file an fir or conduct an investigation there is an absolute bar on the criminal proceedings and he cannot be called in question before any court of law in relation to any kind of criminal proceedings moving forward let us analyze the stand of the supreme court in relation to the constitutional immunities that have been provided under article 361 of the indian constitution so basically the supreme court has upheld the immunities provided to the president and governors by the constitutions in the landmark case of rameshwar prasad versus union of india and has observed that the position in law is that the governor enjoys complete immunity from any kind of criminal proceeding against him while he is performing his official duties the court's ruling further added that the governor is not answerable to any court for the exercise and performance of the powers and duties of his office or for any act done or purporting to be done by him in the exercise and performance of those powers and duties so basically this reiterates the position uh, that is given under article 
361 of the Indian Constitution that yes, you cannot arrest him, you cannot imprison him while he is performing his official duties. With this, we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen the uh, complaint against the sitting governor of the state of West Bengal. Then we have also examined the constitutional provisions regarding the position of the governor. And we have also discussed Article 361 in detail. And we have also seen the stand of the Supreme Court on the issue. Now let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So the question is consider the following statements and this question has been asked in the year 2018. So your statement number one is no criminal proceedings shall be instituted against the governor of a state in any court during his term of office. Your statement number two is the emoluments and allowances of the governor of a state shall not be diminished during his term of office. So which of the statements given above is our correct option A one only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, both 1 and 2. And option D is neither 1 nor 2. So, kindly drop the correct answer in the comment box below. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is, critically analyze the challenges associated with the governor's office. So, firstly, you will write about the position of the governor in our Indian constitution that yes, it is mandatory by article 3, 153 of the Indian constitution to have a governor for each state. Then you will write the discretionary powers of the governor, you will write about his appointment, uh, qualifications for appointment, conditions for appointment, that he is appointed by the president of India, he continues his office uh, during the pleasure of the president of India. So, you will write all of this, you will write the discretionary powers and then you will lastly talk about the challenges. Firstly, he cannot be prosecuted in any court whatsoever. So, yes, this is a challenge. If he, What if he has committed a serious heinous criminal offence, then also he cannot be uh, prosecuted until and unless he remains in the office of the governor. After he has uh, resigned or after uh, he is removed because the uh, pleasure of President of India has ended, he definitely can be prosecuted and punished. Then you will write about the governor's power of appointing the chief minister. That is also a very controversial issue. So, you can explain in detail that yes, he enjoys a discretionary power in the appointment of the chief minister of a state. And then you will write about various tussles that are going on between the governors and the uh, chief ministers regarding S and 2 bills, regarding other matters, etc. And you can conclude very holistically that yes, they, there has to be a check and balance because Governor is considered to be an agent of the central government in the state. However, the democratic majority, the, demo, uh, the people's majority lies with the chief minister. So, you will write that yes, it is a very important constitutional post. However, it faces certain challenges and then you can say that uh, what can be the way forward as has been uh, mentioned by the Sakarya Commission etc. So, you can conclude your uh, answer very holistically. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting updates. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.